so hello everyone this is Navin Damishati in this video I will show you um, the, uh, the five major building blocks of angler so if you are new to my channel please uh, if you if you like my video please do subscribe and uh, give a thumbs it's a free for you but uh, it helps us a lot and encourages me to do more videos on uh, all the topics related to angular javascript html css and uh, react js2 so so what are the major major building blocks of um, angular so they not only these five we have a number of uh, blocks like hooks and uh, services uh, services and um, uh, other things uh, but uh, these are the main things uh, like uh, I have covered the um, remaining will be covered in the next video so for coming to the first thing uh, it's a component uh, so majorly we have components directives pipes dependence injection and modules so starting from the component what is component so uh, components are the main building blocks for uh, angular application you all heard uh, or you have uh, read somewhere in the most of the blocks which uh, mentions here and uh, coming to the video it is not uh, completely to the experts it is for the beginners who are uh, very much new to angular angular uh, framework so uh, it is very useful for the uh, uh, beginners so yeah so coming to the component so each component consists of an html element and a styling a styling element i mean styling chain uh, which we include in generally like how it is included here and again i will show you in the angular application too um also uh, as the, as i said uh, each component consists of an html component that declares with uh, uh, renders the whole uh, html page so how we see uh, like traditional html html uh, html file that can be directly rendered in the component uh, this component is referred to uh, i mean uh, this component has uh, saved in the format of ts so i will show you so this is the component this is the component that consists of uh, actually it uh, it consists of a constructor also um, so this is how a component has been defined and it consists of a uh, component uh, metadata and uh, i mean decorator and it has three uh, uh, three key values which is selector selector which refers to the current page current page name which uh, includes html component and uh, ts file and then uh, um, styling file so it is the bunch of uh, it refers to the direct uh, ts component and it has a template url generally we define as template url for the html page uh, whichever the html page you have you can directly give here uh, this is the path it has they don't uh, uh, no need of defining any name particular name to the html or H you can directly give the html uh, path to a uh, path here and the styling url uh, it, it will be uh, in the square brackets and in the same way we will give the url to this and the remaining are uh, remaining uh, remaining is a class name uh, what is the class name uh, class name is a general term and it is in a mandatory thing to define define when a new component has been created it's a class name and how we use component like that we use component in that way and uh, yeah coming to the it, it directly renders the html page like how i showed here okay yeah coming to the second point it's directives so what are directives um, uh, in angular directives are defined as a classes that can add it and uh, add new behavior to the html's in the template or modify existing the behavior existing behavior of an uh, html html dom element uh, we can say uh, we can say dom element so the purpose of the directives in angular is to manipulate the dom okay so be it by adding new element to a dom or removing a elements and that even changing the appearance of the dom element so how it works so first of all we will check how how many types of uh, directives we have so they are attribute directive structural directive custom component custom directives or component directives this is the third one uh, we will uh, talk about this later so first coming to the attribute directives what is attribute in html we generally say class is an attribute like that we in angular we have two kind of directives i mean attribute directives which are ng class and ng style so if in case you have any value okay if you want to change the background of any particular div 
based on the value if true or false so in that case ng class and ng style will comes up in the light so ng class is directly appending a class and ng style is setting a, setting a color directly in the html by using the ng style okay you can see my previous videos on navbar uh, which 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 uh, uh, explains explains how i have used the attribute directives and structural directives also in, in a easy manner okay if in case if you want a deep elaboration please ping me in the comments so i can uh, make another video on ng style and ng classes and uh, structural directives also so this is how attribute directive works and coming to the structural directives so structural directive is a we have three kind of uh, structural directives one is one is ng if and ng for and ng switch so coming to the ng if ng if is showing a dom element uh based on its if condition so generally we have a variable and uh, each variable uh, is declared with a true or false values so uh, if you want to show a particular dom or a div or a session uh, by uh, by uh, using a logic manner like uh, on true you want to do show the div and on the false you want to uh, uh, hide that uh, div so in that case we use ng if so coming to the ng for so you all have seen uh, table table data right tables um and uh, we use for loops in javascript to repeat uh, to repeat a uh, uh, to repeat a loop or uh, to display particular uh, records so in the same way in html we use ng for to display uh, um, i mean array of objects okay ng switch also works in the same way as ng if so same as uh, Uh, showing the uh, showing the next div and hiding the particular div like that okay it is also on based on the condition base and coming to the custom and component directives so custom directives are nothing but um, it it acts as a behavior behavior of a particular div if you have a multiple multiple uh, uh, divs in each, all the pages which need to be uh, reflected on a logic or uh, it uh, uh, for the css css i need to maintain there it comes in a uh, custom custom uh, directive will comes uh, comes in in that in that place so this is how directives work uh, and the same way you can ping me in the comments to uh, for uh, elaborated video so i will make in the future uh, about the elaborated video on directives so pipes the third thing is pipes pipes we have generally um, pipes are simple functions to use template expressions to accept any input value and return a transformed value pipes are useful because you can use them thoroughly i mean th throughout your application uh, while only declaring each pipe each pipe once so there are two two types one is pure pipe and impure pipe and we have filters also uh, filters are also the same behavior as pipes pipes do there is much um, no uh, not much difference between uh, both and uh, this is how a custom pipe pipe has been uh, uh, displayed so here uh, there is a local local data sorry lo local date which which uh, a date has been transformed so there is a date uh, date variable and there and uh, here the date format has been changed based on the functionality okay so it takes the input input of at a particular uh, date and it it again uh, reflects the uh, according to our our uh, requirement okay so what are the filters filters also so works in the same way like if i have a uh, date i want to format the date into ddmmyy or i want to change a to mmddyyy so the, this also comes under the filters pipes pipes and um, currency we have uh, we have multiple things like currency currency date uh, slice splicing etc this all comes under the pipes so if you want to uh, take a look uh, there is a video i have done um, on uh, filter search filter search which i have uh, briefly explained about the pipes pipes and how how we can use a pipe in the table okay so coming to the next slide uh, we have dependency injections so what is a dependency injection so dependency injection or di is a design pattern and a mechanism for uh, creating and delivering some part of an application to other part of an application uh that requires them so what does it mean so i have a component and i have created a service 
okay and the service has uh, multiple uh, apis i'm calling to and i want that that service need to be uh, used in multiple components so here comes dependency injection where you will include that import that uh, service inside a component and you will access the apis which you have written in the service to inside the component okay this is how it works so you uh, you have a question like uh, can i use multiple multiple services in single component yeah you can use you, you can you need to directly import those comp uh, those services inside your service name we have and with the service class name you can directly include it in your component import it and you can directly use by uh, uh, using private uh, constructor name inside the constructor you will give the service name alias and uh, you will use directly access the functions inside that service okay this angular support this design pattern and you can use it in applications to increase flexibility and modularity so as i said there are, if you have multiple components you can directly use those components i mean use uh, those services in multiple components and each are separate whenever you wish to call that co service then only it will be called in those particular component which you subscribe it to it the, uh, that component only will fetch the data not the all components okay so how the fifth component so fifth one so it is module so what is modules modules in angular refers to the place where you can group the components directives pipes and services which are related to the application so if you see with uh, uh, react or something you you don't need to uh, declare declare or uh, gathering uh, gathering a service or um, uh, particular file or html or uh, js file to a particular model so as in angular it is in a structural way where we can we can group everything like components directives pipes and services in a single single file which is in a root file okay uh, you have will be having it there are multiple um, you can you can maintain multiple modules child modules which are very useful for lazy loading concept uh, that will be explained in in other videos uh, I, I even i didn't done any video on lazy modules lazy loading modules so so that is in a second secondary component uh, i mean secondary uh, section which we don't include in modules you will get more confused to it so modules modules are um, uh, grouping grouping something uh, grouping the components or directive services in one particular place is called a modules okay so this is how we import uh, inside the imports we usually uh, uh, declare declare modules like browser browser module http modules or form modules those are declared in the imports and declarations are components components whichever the components you have you are creating a new component of the form or a, uh, particular dashboard page or a particular landing page will be included in declarations and coming to the providers providers are services public uh, those services are uh, directly included i mean um, we, we include in providers and uh, bootstrap bootstrap what is bootstrap bootstrap is the main main component which is the base component which whatever the actions you wanted to or do or a, a particular buffering page or loading page is called uh, um, which is included in bootstrap component whichever the component we want to bootstrap that that component comes under the i mean include in modules okay so uh, the last side uh, slide is uh, any questions so if you have any questions please do ping me um comment in the may uh, comment section uh, there is a page called coding wall uh, in instagram you can directly ping there or you can directly drop a mail uh, to codingwall.com so i will be replying replying uh, to you and if you if you feel this uh, video is um, uh, helpful so please do subscribe and uh, you can give a uh, uh, super thanks also <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for the support uh, do subscribe and uh, yeah thanks have a good day